Hi, I'm Sue Ellen Dickinson. This subject of conversation has turned into a very hot topic. This is one of those forbidden third rail topics people just don't talk about. Maybe it's because it's hard to pin down and define. Maybe it's because they just don't want to talk about it. But as it turns out, they do. And here's why. Because it's a connecting link between what happens to almost everybody with MS from the time they start feeling symptoms and begin experiencing special problems up until that fateful day when they receive their diagnosis that says it all. You have MS. Meanwhile, during that time frame they're living in, which is somewhere around 20 years, some experts say, a whole lot of life-changing circumstances can happen. And I do mean life-changing. This is a time frame that's been undefined, but certainly not gone unnoticed. I call it the in-between time. And the people who are living within that in-between time frame, I call the in-between people. So the question is, who are the in-between people? Well, they are you, they are me, they are the people who live in an unfamiliar land of uncertainty, where fear of unexpected personal embarrassment and failure at the most basic human level becomes their normal daily routine. And they're isolated in their own private world of quiet desperation. They're the waitress in the restaurant whose foot suddenly refuses to move forward and as she trips over nothing, loses her balance and drops the heavy tray laden with plates of food that go crashing onto the floor. She stands humiliated before hungry and, well, now disgusted customers as she's quietly led back to the kitchen where she's scoffed at and scolded by her manager. And she doesn't know why. They're the gifted artists who were once highly sought after to create customized works of art, but who no longer can hold the brush to the canvas because their hand and eye coordination is beginning to fail, and along with it, their ability to paint and create. And they don't know why. They are the truck drivers who once had the stamina and strength to drive hour after hour across country in their 18-wheelers, who prided themselves in bringing their cargo to its faraway destination. But now, they don't have the energy to even drive across town. And they don't know why. They're the salesman who has the gift of gab and cheerful personality, who truly cares for his regular customers and enjoys meeting new ones, but... Now his speech is becoming slow and sometimes slurred, and he's been fired after being wrongly accused of drinking on the job. And he doesn't know why. They are the farmer who went into the fields at dawn and spent the day in the hot sun planting in the spring and harvesting in the fall. But now the farmer cannot bear the burden of the summer sun and heat, which saps all his strength and his tractor now stands idle in the barn. And he doesn't know why. They are the dancer who wore satin ballerina slippers and performed on stage before hundreds in the audience who clapped and cheered as she gracefully bowed before them at the end of her performance. But now she must sit backstage and can only quietly watch because she's begun to feel the numbness and tingling in her legs, and she's starting to lose control over her physical coordination, and she doesn't know why. They are the teacher who stood before his class and taught mathematics for many years, but was forced to leave that noble profession because now he cannot recall even some of the most basic algebraic formulas, and he doesn't know why. They are the housewife who has become an embarrassment to her family because she can't keep up with the basic routine of taking care of her house, getting meals prepared and put on the table in time. She skips many social obligations and is accustomed to being accident-prone, thoughtless, 
uncaring and even lazy because she, she claims she needs to rest so much of the time. And she doesn't know why. These are the in-between people. They are the in-between people because they're living in between the normal, productive lives they once had, but are now spiraling downward into the dark, foggy realm of uncertainty, calamity, and fear. They are walking in quicksand, and they are losing control. They are the ones who don't know yet. They don't know they have multiple sclerosis. But someday, they will. There are lessons to be learned by the in-between people. What are these lessons? Have we, grad- have we graduated to a higher state of learning in terms of understanding more about ourselves and others around us? Or not? And are we willing to accept it? Tell me your story, and let's talk about it on the next Heart Talk call. Stay tuned for more details. And until next time, I'm Sue Ellen Dickinson.